to the Assassin's Corner. I'm the Cerebral Assassin, and with me is the General. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. All right, so today we're going to be looking at Shuri from the Marvel Crisis Protocol miniature game. So let's go ahead and check her out. Uh, for me, this was a pain in the butt to put together. I, I, thought, just, I heard you loved it. I heard you had a good Oh, man. <laughs> I, I did not enjoy putting her head together, and it kind of looks weird anyways. <laughs> I haven't put uh, her head together yet. Uh, uh, her arms were together. a pain in the butt. I just, <laughs> dude, she's so tiny, man. I did not enjoy it. Her, uh, her, her fist, her weapon fist look cool, though. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, yeah, so what's funny is, like, the weapon, so the little jaw underneath you yeah. have to put on. You can see how small that is. Seriously? You have to put the little jaw on. Yeah. Dude, that's a bit rough. <laughs> right? Yeah. I, I, I may say, I, I don't feel one bit envy of you doing that whatsoever. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, so the paint job was done by myself. Uh, not too shabby. Looking good. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the card. So she's got a five health. She has a movement of medium. She has a two height. She's got a three cost, so she's not much. Uh, so her defense against physical is three. Her defense against energy is three and three for mystic. So That's across reasonable. the board. Yeah, pretty perspective. Yeah. All right, so let's go into her first ability, Panther Gauntlets. Panther this is an Gauntlet. energy attack. It's got a five range. Holy crap, dude. I mean, it's five zero. range. And it costs zero. Unlike and already. six attack dice. What? Yeah. There's so, something wrong with this. <laughs> Am I seeing this really zero? Yeah. Oh. So she's like one of those characters you want to put on objective. So you get her on objective. You have five inch range. So that is huge. You, you the, can yeah, stay. You this range. You got basically the five um, range rule is huge. You know, and you can leave her in the back. Because you actually don't want her to get up front because uh, some, someone will tear her apart. Yeah, she'll get past them. Uh, what it does is if this attack would deal one or more damage, it deals one damage instead. So you're always going to get a damage off. All right. Uh, and after this attack is resolved, push the target character small range. So basically, so pretty much you only can do one damage. So if yeah. you do five damage, it only counts as one, regardless. Yeah. of your. So if you defend three, she's got one through, she only can do one hit. Yeah. So it's kind of like a long range... Kind of like, you know, a small little dagger's being thrown or whatever. Yeah, it's a pew-pew. It's a pew-pew. It's pew -pew. She's got a pew-pew. But it says... But it moves after, them. Yeah, but after this attack is resolved, she gains one power. She gains one power. That's interesting. Yep. Uh, target, uh, target movement S away. So it's pretty decent. It's yeah. more of a placeholder uh, attack where you can place, you can push them. It, it's it's good to keep people at bay. At bay. I agree. You know, you can keep them away. Um, so let's go ahead and go on to Sonic Crush. It's another energy attack. Great it's got... Two. Two range, seven attack dice, four power. After this attack is resolved, the target character gains the stun special condition. So you're going to stun them as soon as you attack. But also, also you get staggered. Yeah. Uh, so on a roll of a whirlpool, this goes off. After this attack is resolved, the target character gains stagger special condition, which again is... So what happens with stagger is that if you cause normally when you cause like more than one or two or three or four damage, your opponent gets that amount of power. They, yep. just, they, they, they absorb the damage and they get more power. But with stagger is they can only ever get one power. So if you, if you deal five points of damage, they don't get five power. They get one power and so forth. Yep. Um, that, that, you know what? She's kind of interesting because she has a range to Sonic Crush. So in a sense, you want to get close up and use that seven dice. That seven dice is pretty decent. Yeah, if, I, I'm if guessing she has the power. I guess, I guess what the Panther Gauntlet is, is you're getting right into the face of the enemy, and there is an objective that's a bit too far, and you mm -hmm. see a villain or a hero claiming it from the opponent, and you use it just to push as a last move. She, I, mean, so I would always use it at, at, at the last character, basically, or one of the last characters, so she doesn't get hurt a lot. But she seems like someone who will get in and then move stuff around like a placeholder. Because that's really interesting. Like, how would you, how would you, how would you measure that with that? But let's go through the rest of the rules and let's figure out what she does. Yeah. Super genius. So let's go into super genius. It's an inactive ability, so a reaction. When this character is attacking, it may use the superpower during the calculate success step of the attack. If it does, it may choose to count shield. shields results instead of damage wow. results for huge. for one cost. That's huge. So again, just like uh, Killmonger, um, the, she. She's able to do that. Yeah. Actually, I think all the characters can Black do that. Black Panther can do yep. that as well. So, uh, let's go, ahead. go ahead. Now, this is the big part about Shiri. Okay. This is what makes her super good. And what you should do is keep her in the back. So, it's upgrades. 
again, the next uh, uh, ability is an inactive ability, Upgrades. Now, this is key for uh, Shiri because this is where you kind of want to keep her in the back because this allows her to do this. After another allied character within four range rolls attack or defense dice, this character may use this superpower. If it does, spin up to three power for each power spent, the ally attacking or defending character may re-roll those dice for X cost. That means That's if huge. you just spend yeah. the resources, you get three re-rolls or three attack up dice. Up to three. That, that is amazing. It's huge because that is amazing. it could save you guys or it could make sure to get that kill. So she's a placeholder. She's someone you yeah. want to place in place, make sure she's recruited a lot of power. She's kind of like a buffer. She's a buffer. Yeah. She's a buffer. She's a probably the best buffer I've seen because that's... Yeah. That's because that she could keep as long as she got loads of power, yeah. she can keep doing that. <laughs> People so, around you're her. right. So I see her using that ability more than you would the Sonic Crush. The Sonic Crush is good. Yeah, but again, I agree. Actually, I agree. So um, if you've got three power, you can actually up, do up to three rerolls on three different characters yeah. or all on one character, depending on you know how hard you get hit. Yeah, I like it. All right, so let's go into her passive ability, Head of Wakanda R and D. So whenever this character rolls dice after the effect is resolved it gains one power uh if it rolled at least uh one skull wow yep wow so anytime it rolls any dice yep it gains one power if it rolled any of the skulls which is usually auto failure yep. so she's she's got a bit of a power buff generated there right there any skulls gave her power and that's yep. that's kind of huge because that's where you want to kick this in with the upgrades yep. That's, I love it. I love it. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and flip her over and see what we got. So it uh, looks like the stats are all the same. And it looks like all the abilities are the same. I can see a lot of rerolls followed by rerolls followed by rerolls with her yeah. and, the, and the Wakanda special rule as well. So she's great. I like her already. Um, I, I want to see her played a bit more so I can have a bit more feel for her in the game and how she's used. Mm -hmm. But I got a feeling that if she's one of those ones that you got to think about to use, yes. I'm, I'm sure there is some nasty um, combos. Yeah, so it's think. like uh, you know, I feel it's like the strategy is keep her behind because what's nice is you can buff whatever's around you within oh. four. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, and also, when something's coming in, yeah. she can push them back with the uh, the Panther Gauntlets. Yep, yeah, I agree. You know, she can basically control what you're going to do and then force, like, Black Panther or Killmonger to make their pounce or charge. Yep, yeah, thumbs up from me. Yep, thumbs up. All right, so this was Shuri. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to uh, like and make some comments down below. And make sure to hit those links, and we will see you in the next video.